Hi guys, it's Sam, and <sighs> I'm trying to set this up so you guys can see more of my face and less of the steering wheel, but this setup is really pre precarious, and as you can tell, not that great. But this is the best it's going to be. I'm sorry for my steering wheel. I just parked the car. Well, I didn't just park it. I, I got to work super early. It was amazing, actually. I drove I left my house at 6 30 and I got here around 7 15 and usually I get here at 7 35 7 40 even 7 45 so today's traffic was amazing I couldn't ask for anything better and I think a lot of people there's this winter advisory today it's supposed to snow and then turn to like rain and sleet and it's not going to be fun going home but at least this morning's commute wasn't so bad and I think a lot of people decided to either stay home or take PT. And the reason I'm filming uh, this morning is because I want to, I think I did it in a vlog or maybe I never uploaded that vlog. I don't remember. This is my work makeup bag and it used to be filled to the brim. I used to put in products that I wanted to use up that wasn't my favorites, but I just cond condensed it to things that I need. They might not be particularly my favorites, but I'm going to tell you why and talk about all these products. So I love having a clear bag because it, I can see through it. I don't have to look through it in the morning and I know what's in here. So sometimes I skip this step. This is a primer. This is the ordinary primer and it's silicone, but it feels like a little bit more mix of silicone and moisturizer to me. And you'll see what I mean when I show you what it looks like. So it looks like that. And this is a step that I don't do all the time and I'm gonna be looking up here because I can't I don't know I don't like looking into the uh, the camera and I have to be careful with this primer because I wear sunscreen I mix my moisturizer with the sunscreen and it kind of curdles once in a while not all the time which is weird but sometimes it will curdle with the uh, sunscreen so I do that next is and I like I said this is just a primer that I stuck in here I do have another one of these uh, but this is one that my sister's friend gave me and for foundation I used to bring a liquid and a brush and I don't know it just was too much of a hassle so I love cream products uh, this one is not this is one of my favorites the container the covergirl plus Olay ageless that's my go-to uh, for cream foundation but this one is the Maybelline dream matte mousse the other packaging was just bulky and in this way I, how I like to apply it is with the sponge applicator and it just gives me fuller coverage and it's just easier to work with than a liquid foundation. So I put some on and I always start under my eyes because I feel like those are the darkest. I should have left one side clear so you guys could see. And I like to do my makeup. It's focusing on the steering wheel. Stop. Sorry, this view is terrible. I'm going to try to see if I can fix you, which I've tried and it's dropped multiple times. So have you behind my glass hold case Ooh. hold on technical difficulties okay so this is way up close and personal but really this is the best it's gonna get and the lighting is not perfect but it's actually been better than it was before all right so foundation like I said I start with the under eyes because those are where I need it the most and I don't bring a concealer. It's just an extra step I don't feel like I need. Um, I probably would if the foundation wasn't, but Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse can be buildable. So you saw that I have like pretty bad acne scarring and just all over the place. So that's a pretty good, go pretty good job of covering. And I always bring it down my neck. People are so funny. They like, is he taking pictures of his car or is that not his car? I don't know. He's There's this guy out there who's just taking... Oh, it's his car. Okay. I'm not sure why he took pictures of it. but So that's basically all I do for foundation. I just want to look more awake and to cover any hyperpigmentation and acne, stuff like that. So that's next. And then we have a powder. And this is one of my favorites. It's the L'Oreal True Match. 
right now in the winter time I'm W3 and that is nude beige and I bring um, usually I carry the smaller kabuki brush but this one is from Tarte I got it with did I get it at Sephora or QVC I don't remember but usually you can get a deal and you get the brush too so I pat under my eye and then blend everywhere else or buff everywhere else and then again pat under my, around my nose and around my mouth so I didn't tell you guys yet but I booked my vacation I'm going on a cruise and I'm going with my boyfriend my sister and her boyfriend and I'm super excited we've been cruise planning even though it's about literally six months away and uh, we're going to Let's see, two of the places I've been to, one place I haven't, but it's kind of limited because we want to leave out of New York, and it's less days you have to take off, and I'm I'm free all summer, but the rest of the vacation crew are not, so, uh, but we've been looking up t-shirts and cut tumblers and things like that, just so much fun to plan it, and I've been watching cruise videos to get myself psyched up, which I'm already psyched up enough, but it's just fun to watch those. Uh, so the places that we're going to are Grand Turk, which is beautiful. I was looking back at Instagram photos of when I went last time. I went in 2016. And Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, which I haven't been to Dominican Republic. And I wanted, I've been to the other two places. And in Puerto Rico, uh, the places that I went to see the fort, so we don't have to do that again. Uh, I kind of want to go to the Bacardi factory. I think that would be kind of fun, but I don't know if everybody else wants to. Oh, so the blush. This is a brush. I feel like it might be Beauty Junkies, but I don't think so. But it's from Amazon. It was a brush set, which I really do like uh, from a while back. And then I decided I switched out my blushes a lot. So this one now is the Bomb in Stain Blush, and it's in the color Houndstooth. It looks like I didn't apply blush, but in person, I do have it. And I don't like to overdo it with the blush, which I probably could do more blush. Next is, and I use this mirror or whatever, or, or the L'Oreal True Match so I could do up-close work. Uh, next is eyebrows, and I have two eyebrow products that I usually use. This is just a pencil. I usually have a pencil of the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Shape and Fill. And I like this because you don't have to bring an extra spoolie so, because it has it on this side. And then this is the NYX, which probably is a little too brown, but then black is too stark. And I feel like this is the color below black. Uh, it's tinted brown mascara in espresso. And the brush is a little big, which you'll see in a second. But what I like to do is brush out my brows first. And if I'm really quick, I know this is going to sound so lame, but I will use the end of this because there's a lot of product left on here and brush it through. And that's it for my brows. Time savers, guys. Time savers. And the reason I do my makeup in the morning is because it saves me about five to ten minutes. Oh, there's my coworker staring out at the window. She, she parked. She comes here. She has to be inside before me. And she parks far away sometimes I feel bad because the cars like I said don't have to leave but I was lucky some person left so I'm just gonna fill in my brows hopefully you guys can see I think you can and I don't do uh, I don't go for a very defined brow I just want a brow that looks kind of fuller oh goodness so as you can see I'm not being I just trace all I just fill in the shape of my eyebrow I don't want to so look not that much and I'll do the same for this eye and if I wasn't talking to you which I love talking to you guys uh, this would take me five minutes and since I had the time this morning I was actually gonna stop by at McDonald's because this never happens where I have enough time to uh, just sit for about Sorry, my nose was itchy. Uh, about 20 minutes, maybe even longer. I can't believe how early I got here. It's still, wow. So I brushed that out because I really don't want a stark look. And my brows, there's a, there's a, it's, I have a lot of brow hair, but it's sparse, I feel like. So 
So I always brush it out. There's this guy, and then he's walking his kid, and then he's gonna walk his dog. You see the same people in the neighborhood living their life. And then I am going to use the the mascara wand, which looks like this. So a lot of product comes out of it. It's too much product, so I like to wiggle it when I take it out. And then even, I would you like to see what I'm doing? And then I uh, take out the excess at the top because a lot comes out at the top. And again, not too much. I just, I don't know if this step is necessary. I just like to, uh, it helps to keep your brows in place, which is nice. But it's not a necessary step that I do every day. And then my mascara, it's my go-to, my CoverGirl Lash Blast, the big orange tube. And so I like to open it beforehand. And then back to my mirror and the eyelash curler because my eyelashes just go straight down. Sonia Kashuk, and I have to tell you, I am loving, I don't know, I thought I, I think I just, excuse me, <laughs> I think I just changed this, but I feel like it's not working as well. I don't know if it degraded over time um, in the packaging, but it doesn't work as well anymore. I love the tweezer men ones. Those are fabulous. Those are my favorites. So I curl my lashes and then... I put on my mascara, you guys know. If I had to choose just a couple of items to use, I would use foundation, powder, because I feel like my face needs the powder. Even though it's dry, I don't feel like foundation will last that long on me, uh, and mascara. I feel like mascara really awakens the eye, and I have to tell you, if I don't put on makeup, I feel more tired. I don't know if it's because it's like the fi finality of it, using, putting on makeup, you're ready for the day, but putting on makeup and just looking more put together makes me feel more awake, if that makes sense. And the last final step, and sometimes I will go back with like a second coat, but today I don't think so. I use a setting spray. I love setting sprays. And I gotta move my scarf back because it always gets it wet. This one is a dewy finish. Not my favorite. I uh, favorite. I used I got it to try it. Probably wouldn't repurchase it. I don't notice a dewy finish with this. Um, and I'll stick for stick with my e.l.f. Mist and Spray. Not the matte version, just the regular. That one is my favorite. I have a couple more that I I want to try, but that one is my favorite so far. Okay, let that dry for a second. I put my makeup back in here. It is, I think, 7.40. So I have another 20 minutes to relax. It's so nice not to have to be in a rush. The other day I was, well, it happens more than I like, to, like it to, but I just, I don't like to be in a rush. And it's funny because I am late for a lot of things, but for work, I don't want to be late. And a lot of times, I am I just get here right on time. So, yeah, that is my makeup look. Uh, that's my work makeup, what's in my work makeup bag, and a tutorial at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and wherever you are, I hope that you're happy and that you are having a great day or had a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!